Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, fluent assertions in C Sharp and .NET and how you, they can be very useful when writing uh, TDD or BDD styles unit tests. So let's get started. The, the web page for fluent assertions is here and I'm also putting a link on my website uh, if you search for C Sharp uh, videos. So let's get started. So the way to do that is basically include fluent assertions package. And uh, here I have a book which has a field called author and then it has another field called name. And I've set the name to be your associate. So let's say if you wanted to check for assertions, you can just basically start with uh, should. And then you can say start with, for example, there are various options, but I'm just going to demonstrate a few of them. And let's say you have made a mistake and you just search for GAUQ and we know that this assertion is not correct. So it should fail and we should get an exception. And uh, if I run it, uh, you can indeed see that it gets an exception. So if it, and it's actually even telling you where it uh, differs near, it differs near R and A, which is index of three, zero, one, two, three, here it is differing. So you could correct that here, for example, and it should be uh, fine. So that's one example. And let's say you wanted to add some more assertions. You can, what you can do is use the and operator. And, and then you can say maybe end with, start with gor and end Here you can say maybe end with, and I know it ends with ES, so I can do that. And so this assertion should pass as well, and you can see that uh, it works fine, so you can check that. And let's say you wanted to add another uh, end here, such as the length. And the syntax for here is have length here, so I'm going to just guess. The length is being 12 and we can try to run it and see what it says here you can see it complains because the length expected length is really 15 and I put in 12 so I'm going to correct that by putting in 15 and here you should be able to see that it works so that's uh, one easy way to write uh, fluent assertions another uh, assertion I want to demonstrate here is when you're checking for some method being called and whether it is uh, going to throw uh, an exception or not so here you can see that it has a method called is available and it is throwing a not implemented exception so how could you check that when you call a method this is what happens so what you can do is you can declare an action and you can define it in this way and here we just going to call book is available and this is an action basically and it should be oh sorry dot net fiddle play some tricks with us so so here it should be action and it should be fine and now what we do is we when we invoke the action we can check for So what we are going to check and see if it throws the not implemented exception. And here you can add it as a generic basically to see if it is going to throw the not implemented exception. And since we already know it should be throwing that, so this is going to pass. So here you can see that it passes and which is good. And suppose for example, it didn't show this, uh, throw this exception and we let's say we just did uh, uh, int a is equal to zero in here. And it expects me to return something. So I'm just going to return false. So that uh, should obviously fail because it's not going to throw the uh, exception. So here it is saying expected and not implemented ex exception to be thrown, but no exception was thrown. So that is actually a pretty good way to check an exception. Another thing you can add here is with message and we can check for what kind of message is being thrown with an exception string and so on and so forth. So I found this fluent assertions to be very useful and you can augment it 
using MS test or MUNIT or whatever testing you are doing. And uh, thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.